Hello everyone and welcome to Clodden Painting Studio's latest video. I um, wanted to have a look at painting faces. Um, there's a, a saying which I've, I've heard fairly recently which I, I think sums up um, miniature painting which is uh, faces and bases. Um, and basically what that implies is that the things that people are going to check out when they look at your models and really um, judge to see how good it is is they're going to look at the base um, you know if you've taken the time to <clears throat> add some sand static grass really make it come to life um, and the face uh, I think that's to do with um, us humans we we look at faces um, we're just drawn to them so taking a little bit of extra time um, to work on and um, bringing faces to, to life really goes a long way to, to selling the rest of the paint job um, there are um, plenty of paints um, on the market to help you um, achieve this. Um, I quite often use the Wargames Foundry Flesh Triad, um, but I'm showing off some, some Army Painter ones because I think they're a bit easier to, to get hold of um, and can do a, a pretty good job as well. And we're working again on one of the 28mm Jacobite um, 1745 Rebellion miniatures from flags of war and first paint used for the the flesh um, is tanned flesh and that's going to form um, our deepest uh, layer we're going to leave that in the, the recesses um, and the naturally shaded parts as we um, progress we're gonna swap now and bring up a second step here uh, which was moving on to Barbarian Flesh. With the Barbarian Flesh, I've run that along the uh, bridge of the nose, to the point of the nose, um, eyebrows, cheekbones, sort of running um, horizontally almost back to the um, sideburns on this model, um, and a little vertical line either side of the, the mouth from the edge of the cheekbones. Um, we're really trying to follow the natural raised surfaces of the sculpt um, and really define them. Um, the extra definition um, is not as we are in real life but um, we're just trying to accentuate um, the natural um, way the light falls on the face. The third step um, is really going to extreme highlighting here uh, using some corpse pale and I've taken that and I've placed that on the very tip of the nose um, a little point on the cheekbones um, above um, the eye as well um, on the other parts of the model you can maybe see that I've picked out the, the knuckles on the hand a bit on the, the kneecaps as well um, and we're just bringing um, a real high point um, into view and you could leave things at that. Um, I like to try and bring these colours together a little bit with the use um, of some washes and Army Painter have a flesh wash which um, is good for this sort of thing. What I have done um, with their uh, flesh wash is I've mixed it um, in equal parts with their quick shade wash mixing medium. Um, it just helps the, the flow a little bit and takes some of the strength away so that you can apply it without worrying that you're going to leave um, tide marks. Um, I do find though that the addition of a tiny bit of purple and I mean tiny um, hardly any on the, the tip of a, a brush just adds an extra depth to the colour of their flesh wash. Um, I have this ancient bottle of, of Citadel purple wash um, and other purple uh, washes are out there so don't try and track that one down. Um, the wash um, it ties the colours together it just adds a little bit of extra um, shadowing to um, the depths around the, the eye socket, the mouth 
um, also between the fingers um, on other parts um, of the model. And that would be a, an, an excellent place to, to leave things. Um, there's a bit of debate about whether painting eyes is necessary. Um, I think when you're painting large numbers of models uh, for um, a whole regiment, even at 28 millimeter, I, I don't feel it's necessary. Um, and if you can't do a good eye, you know, if you don't have the, the, the brush control to um, place the white and then the blacks for the, the pupils, then uh, no um, attempt at an eye is better than a, a bad attempt. Again, we're drawn to faces, so we'll pick out things when they, they don't look ideal. Um, I have done a bit further work then as well as um, dotting eyes on our final model here. Um, I did um, the whites with uh, this off-white, light grey spaceship exterior and I had some uh, some coat to arms black for the, the pupil nothing special there but the final flourish um, which hopefully comes up okay on, on this model is, is a little bit five o'clock shadow some stubble a relatively straightforward um, effect to achieve um, for some reason um, I'm sure someone who's more versed in colour theory can tell me, um, but greenish tinges work best uh, for this rather than um, black or, or grey um, as, as we'd perhaps think. Um, I've used field grey and I have thinned this and thinned this and thinned this um, until it's, it's, it's a glaze um, and taken a couple of thin coats um, on the model here. If it goes on too thick, don't worry, you've not ruined um, the model. What you can do um, is get some of your, your base flesh colour, um, I'd go back to tan flesh in this case, um, and thin that down um, and glaze that over the top. Um, I, I would make it thinner than the, uh, the field grey wash if, if I'd put that on too thick. Um, and that'll just uh, bring the, the natural flesh colour back through. Um, so I hope that that's been a, a fairly uh, useful video for um, everybody there. Um, these steps, they do take a bit of a um, steady hand. Um, and there's no, no substitute for practice. Uh, but I think the, the first couple of steps... Um, a base layer of flesh and then a single highlight sh should hopefully be um, achievable for most folk. Um, you could even put the little bit of wash over at that point um, and call the models done. Your two colours will get tied together a bit with the wash. It will just um, define the um, the eyes around the mouth um, and you'd be able to, to walk away from the model there, especially if you're putting 30 odd down in a in a unit. Um, but with a little bit more time, perhaps for your character models, um, or if you're um, doing some skirmish gaming, just taking that little bit of extra time to um, add a, a further layer of highlights, and if you feel really up to it, dotting the eyes and um, attempting a bit of stubble, it's, um, it can turn out really nicely. Um, so thanks for watching, um, if you enjoyed what you've seen, um, please hit like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Um, if you have any uh, suggestions about other subjects you'd like to see covered, please pop them in the comments down below um, and I'll get back to you. Um, thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.